Hey slide masters, welcome to another edition of how to make a slide great. Today I'm going to show you a little trick that I just discovered regarding converting text to paths. Now you might wonder why do you want to convert text to paths? Well if you have a client that doesn't have the fonts that you designed with on their system then you're going to have problems with how the slides look. We experienced that a week ago and so what we did was we went through the whole deck and converted the slide the, all the text to paths and then gave the slides back to them. There's another benefit to it too is if you want to deliver your slides to your clients so they, they're not changed maybe you have some legal reason why the slides can't be changed this is a great solution for that. So let me show you a couple of ways that we went about this. So here's my layout, and I have an assignment here to convert this text to a graphic. So I'm going to zoom in, uh, zoom out a little bit so I can see the edge here, and you can see that this is text. You know, I can add a letter or a space or whatever. It's editable text. What I want to do is I'm going to click on the outside of the text. So I'm clicking on this white line here, and I'm going to hold down the Control key on a Mac and right-click. On a PC, you just right click and I'm going to save as picture. Okay, now with the picture saved, I have it over here and I'm just going to drag it to my slide and you can see it looks just like the text. So I'm just going to position it over here and uh, we can go into our reorder objects to make sure that the text to paths is in front. And then we could do two, one of two things. We could delete it, or we can move it just to the side so that we can have it for later if we need to edit it again. So we have our text here, and then we'll get rid of that. So now we have our type to text. But what I notice is this doesn't work if I'm using the text in, a, in an animation. So what I have here is I have the same text happening in the next slide. I'll just show you how the animation works. So when you click, the text stays and it moves to a different position and it also changes color. So the way this animation is working is we're using a transition called Morph. And the only way Morph works is if you, ha you have to have the same object in the next image in order for it to move or do something that the Morph does. So what I discovered is this new add-ins, they call them, that converts text to outlines. So if you're in the Home tab, you can see I already have it loaded. And I'll put the link to this wonderful free app in the notes down below. So I'm just going to convert to outlines. So I can keep the original and move it off to the slide, just like we showed before. Keep and hide or replace. So let's uh, keep and move off to the side. Okay, so it moved it up there. So now this is my text. To outlines so I can't edit the text it's it's got a gradation in it for the color so I'm just going to double click on the edge it's going to be shape so here it is the gradation is uh, this gradation here so we don't want it to be a gradation we're just going to say uh, solid fill and we want it to be black okay so now we need to move it over here so we're going to take the same graphic copy it and then move it down here and I'm going to click these two and send them to the back so that my white one's in front and I can delete it and then I'm just going to make this color white so now let's see if the animation works beautiful so that just shows you a really quick technique to use text to outline to Fix your slides. What we do is we always uh, save the original with the text in case we need to make edits later, but then we create a copy of it and just put the letters OL at the end so we know it's outlines. And that way, that's the one we give to the client. All right, you slide masters, I hope this helps and stay tuned for some new training as we go along.